In other words, the Iranians have the great Satan working for them. And of course, the continued designation of the MEK as a foreign terrorist organization gives great comfort to the Iranian regime by putting on the sidelines an organization that is potentially a grave threat to the regime, and it also provides an added justification for the regime to execute MEK members in Iran and to boast that in doing so, it is executing terrorists. A 63-year-old man named Ali Saremi, whose only crime was to visit his son at Ashraf, was executed at the end of 2010 as one guilty of enmity against God or terrorism. What's to be done? As you're aware, there's a growing consensus here in this country and outside it of the need to delist MEK. An ever-increasing number of members of Congress are supporting a resolution favoring that result, um, and there is great consensus outside the Congress as well. I think the case has been made that when Iranians go into the street and put their lives on the line for freedom, as they are doing now and as they did after the fraudulent election in 2009, our response through those in our government who speak for us must be more than to remind the mullahs, as we did, that the world is watching. The world is watching? The world has watched frequently while horrors were committed and done nothing. The world was watching when the Germans committed genocide and murdered six million of my co-religionists during World War II. The world was watching when revolutions were suppressed by the Soviets in Eastern Europe. The world was watching genocide in Rwanda and Darfur. The world is watching isn't enough. We owe the Iranian people and the freedom that we stand for much more. What is necessary is to make clear in word and deed that we can offer more than condolences when things go wrong to people who are willing to put their lives on the line for freedom. We must offer support and encouragement, and we must make it clear in word and deed to the Iranian regime that we stand with those who stand for freedom and demand regime change. An effective way to do that would be to enter the upcoming negotiation with Iran, having taken MEK off the list of foreign terrorist organizations, which would show that we recognize our MEK as a group that is devoted to restoring freedom to Iran and that we will not use MEK and not let anybody else use MEK as a bargaining chip. I thank you very much for the privilege of speaking to you.